Join me right now is rising middleweight prospect Antonio Arroyo. What's going on, Antonio? Hey man, what's up? How are you? Good, 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 man. Um, I wanted to start with uh, Brazil. You know, you started out there. You know, you're from Brazil. Talk about the beginnings of your mixed martial arts career. Yeah, so uh, I started out kind of late. Or usually, what usually guys do. I started out after I graduated. Uh, so I'm business graduated back in Brazil. After working a little while with it, I couldn't find myself happy. So I started like really focusing on training. I've been training since since a kid, but never professionally. I started professionally at my at 21, 21 to 22 years old. So that one that was when I decided to start professionally and really focus on my on my mixed martial arts techniques. I started off as a Muay Thai, and then I emigrated to to Jiu Jitsu, to boxing, to wrestling, and everything else. Which part of mixed martial arts do you like the most? I like the stand up part. You like it's the knockout? I'm, I'm a striker. Yeah, I'm like I, like my record. My record, you can see some some submissions and some knockouts, but. Thing that I like to do the most is, is to strike. Is to I love kickboxing, I love karate, and Muay Thai, of course. Future FC three last March. you what happened to that fight against Wellington Terman? Oh yeah. Uh, so so, uh, so Wellington Terman. Uh, I believe he's a uh, he was he was a. Uh, 170 guy and then he became 185 like I believe he was a tough fight for me and uh, I, I was down to it but unfortunately unfortunately I had hurt my knee during camp so my knee was very swollen like it was not a rupture of the ACL but it stretched you know like it was almost a rupture of the ACL so I couldn't fight it but it, it, it turned out good to me because after that, I got the opportunity to fight the contender again, and maybe if I had that fight and lost it, I would be able. I wouldn't be able to be fighting for the contender right now. So everything worked work it out in the, in the end. How is the uh, the injury and the recovery from that? Oh, that that's gone. That's that's gone. Like I recovered. That the injury was good enough just to take me out of that fight, and nothing else. Like I sometimes I think maybe God didn't want me to do that fight, you know. There was some 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 things that I, I just can't explain, but it all it, it all it all worked for the best. Cause right now I'm I'm having this huge huge opportunity again, and maybe if I had that fight and eventually maybe lose or injure myself, I wouldn't be able to be doing like this. This fight right now, which a lot more interesting for me in my career. There's no Def compare. Definitely, definitely. Things happen for a reason. Let's talk about last year. You fought on the Contender Series. You won a decision. You know, go back to that performance. What did you think, you know, you did well in that fight? So, that, that fight was crazy, man, because I was expecting for that opportunity, like, a long time, and it wasn't happening. So I had a fight scheduled for, I had another fight scheduled for July 20. And the, and the Contender Series fight was like August 8. And when I, when I knew about August 8 at the Contender Series, I was like fight week. I, I had a fight in my, in my hometown. So I said, so I said, man, my, my manager told me, we shouldn't take this fight right now. Contender Series is a bigger opportunity. But I was so focused. I, I wanted that fight so much that I said, well, well, what the hell? I might I might fight twice in a month. So I just did it. I fought I fought first in Salvaterra. It's like a series very close, very close to my to my birth to my birth town. And I won. The first round by submission was very nice fight. Uh but you know, with the weight cuts and everything, doing like 
two weight cuts very short one another. Maybe that wasn't good for my cardio. So I think that was that was the main thing that I had to work on when I fought last time. My cardio wasn't on point, and this time I'm definitely I'm definitely gonna be better on that because I'm in Albuquerque right now. Uh, here we really altitude, you know, 5,000 feet. So I think I'll, I'll be a lot better in this aspect. Here we have no rest. Yeah, you, you know, you are in New Mexico. You know, how has the training been? You know, how long have you been out there? So here, you know, I hear, so I had to come to, to, to the U.S. because they wanted me to do, to do the photo shoots, to do the marketing for the, for the fight, you know, to do interviews. So I just decided to, to stay here until my fight, since I, I was having this opportunity to be, to be here. And I'm here for like one, I'll be here in total for like a month, a month exactly. I'm, I'm two weeks here now. I'll, I'll have more, two more weeks of good training and then just cutting. And since the fight is on, on a Tuesday, so I'll be, I'll have enough time on point by then. Like here, I trained at Jack Jackson Wink, you know? So for first couple weeks I was here, I was training with John Jones and cause he's preparing for his fight against Thiago Santos. And like, it, it's a huge, everything here, it's like very nice to do. So I'm just enjoying every moment. Like I lived here before. I don't know if you know it. Uh, I lived here for a whole year, the past. And that's, in that year, Living here, it was was the determining effect to, to my to launch my career. I met new people. Uh, I met my current manager, who's giving me who's taking me to all these fights. It's it's been a blessing in my life, Albuquerque. That's why I have a tattoo, a tattoo of Albuquerque of New Mexico. Oh, right yeah. yeah, yeah. It's part of your yeah. life. It's part of your journey, right? Yeah, man. This is definitely part, a big part of my life. You mentioned I owe, I owe too much to to this place. You just mentioned that uh, you're training with John Jones for his fight. You're getting ready for your fight. You know how is it training with everybody considers him the best in the world? Oh man, what can I tell you? It's no good. <laughs> it's no good. Like I mean, it's very good, but but it's a, it's a challenge. You know, he's a very tough guy. His his reach is crazy, man. What? what for me, is the worst. Is 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 rich. His distance control is something work to deal with. Something like very, very, very hard to deal with. It's crazy to deal with. Yeah. And the problem with John Jones is, like, he's great striker, right? But maybe, maybe if you're very good, you can outstrike him. And maybe if you can outstrike him, but to to outstrike him, you gotta get close to him. And if you get close to him, what happens? He grabs you. He fucking grabs you. So you're done. Because you not you can't you can outstrike and out wrestle John Jones. Maybe one or other, but both you can. So you're doomed anyway. That, that's why the guy is the first pound for pound of the world, you know. There's a reason for that. But it was very good training. Uh, even though even though we, it was hard on my body, I learned every time we, we we like you sparred like a couple of times, but it was very interesting for me. So, because you start thinking, man, if I can't face John Jones across the cage, who can't I face? <laughs> Fuck, there's no one who can scare me off. Well, July 16th, you know, you're heading back to Vegas one year later. Um, in that one year, you know, what has changed about you? What is different about you? Man, a lot has changed. Like, uh, uh when, when I fought last year, uh, I, I was so focused on, on winning. My, my biggest fo focus was winning. It was not the contract. I wanted to win because I knew there was a tough fight. Everything was consequence, you know? So my first point was on winning. And I did everything to, to do it. But like moments after the fight, I saw, because the day I fought, four contracts but me. Like from five winners, four got the contract but me. So I was like, oh, okay, but I won, so I'm happy. 
But then people start saying, yeah, man, don't worry. Don't worry about it. They will call it, call you again. And so I started realizing it, that I, I was the only one who didn't got a contract. So I started to get a little sad, but there was like 15 minutes. I couldn't, I couldn't let it because I know how hard it is to do, to go, to go up there, to fight and to put in the work. So I, I can't allow me to, to just want to fight, pass through everything uh, and be sad about it. No. So I realized all I had to do is to correct some mistakes. So my coach was telling me, man, uh, you, you won the fight. You have some mistakes, but you won the fight. So you can correct your mistakes coming from a win. Imagine his side, he lost. So he will have to correct coming from a loss, which is much worse because you don't have the confidence. You, and like you, when you win, it's total difference. It makes total difference because you, 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 you feel like you're able to, you know, sucking like losing sucks very much. But since then, uh, I worked a lot on my mental game because I know I could do even even better than I did. And my my striking, I, I've been all I've been always working on. Maybe my grounding found improved a lot too. And as a person, man, I've just grown so much because uh, this is my whole life, you know, to be fighting. And I invest, I invest, I invested in everything to be to be where I am right now, money wise, time wise, you know, uh, even even relationships. But it is what it is. We grow as a man. It's the journey, and it's all a big part of this crazy journey of MMA. Other than uh, John Jones, who have who else have you been training with, and uh, who are the main coaches out there in Albuquerque that you're working with? Uh, like right here, I'm working in a lot with Coach uh, Coach Joey Villa Senior was my was in my corner last year. He's a very nice guy, but uh, I worked my wrestling with Coach Lenny Lovato. Uh, he's a very announced, very, very, very known coach, very, very respected uh, wrestling coach here. So I think my wrestling background will be a lot better this time. Uh, like we have Coach Wink, we have Coach Greg Jackson, we have Coach uh, Coach Frank. Uh, we have like a lot of coach, but most of the time they are busy with big fights, you know. But we have like we have guys for for up and comers like me you know you have like because i know i know i know i i don't get worried i don't i don't i don't get worried about it because i know i will have their attention when i deserve it you know it's it's that's the, how the business work right it's the fighting game it's not like you're nobody and coach me to train you you gotta be someone so you get to that level when they start looking at you okay these guys are real to you you work with me, we make it better, you know. But until then, I'm working. I'm working with a lot of good coaches too. I have no complaints about it. Definitely, you know, there's always levels to anything, any business, any sport. There's levels, so you make it to that level, you get, you know, your opportunities with the coaches, right? Now you're facing yeah. Steven Regman. You know, what are your thoughts on him and how he stacks up against you and your style? Uh, man, I, I, I know he, he fought. Uh, a teammate of mine last, he fought Will Santiago. Uh, Will Santiago, very, very, very tough guy, and he ended up getting knocked out by Steven Rackman. But I'm not, I'm not, I can't see nothing special about the guy, you know, I, no disrespect at all. But I just can't see nothing special about the guy. I, I, I watched some of his fights, like he's, he's a regular fighter, you know, he's durable, kind, good, good. Kind of good in every, in every, in every situation. Kind of good striker, good grappler, but nothing like really special about it, you know. So I'm pretty comfortable with my fight. I think I will dominate the whole fight. If it comes to it, uh, I'll, I'll my, my my mind my mind. If it comes to it, I'll, I won't buy UT, but I'll probably get get a finish this time. You get a finish. 
you get the yeah. contract. Yeah, you know. because you know it's the second time in the container series, so mm -hmm. they uh, like they say third time is the is the charm, but in the container series usually it's the second time, right? <laughs> second time is the charm in the container series. So I hope I, if I get a good win this time, they will they will, they will sign me. Yeah, you get signed. And I'm a main know? event, you know. Yeah, I'm a main event of the night, so maybe it's a big deal for them. Maybe they're it definitely is. They didn't contract me last year. Maybe, definitely. Maybe that's some regret that did, they didn't contract me last year, you know? Well, you deserved I put it. On, I didn't go to finish, but I put on a show last year. My fight was a nice fight in Japan. You know, I fought, I fought the South American Muay Thai champion, so it was a tough guy. July 16th, Dana White's Contender Series main event, Las Vegas. Yeah. Thank you, Antonio, for your time, and uh, good luck on your future, man. Yeah, man, thank you very much for this opportunity. It's like, I think it's my first Skype interview. It's very nice, and I'm enjoying it. Thank you very much.